What do you want people to know about what you just came back from, what the reality is? Well, I've been, I've been in Ukraine for almost the last uh, two weeks. I had to come back for Thanksgiving. Um, the reason I went back especially was because Kherson. This is the biggest city that was taken by the Russians that the Ukrainians used, were able again to bring, bring back into Ukraine. And for me, one of the most fascinating moments in my life was to be on April 1st in Irpin and Bucha, north of Kiev, and now to be in Kherson. What we need to understand is that what we are seeing going on in Ukraine right now, like it was a movie, like it was a Star Wars, is between the people of empathy, the people of goodness, and the people of hate. And right now, it doesn't make any sense that we have a war in Europe in the 21st century. It doesn't make any sense that we are killing children, elderly, and women. This is not just a war for something like what happened in World War II. This is one country and one person, especially Putin, that decided to attack another country and start killing civilians. This war needs to end. It's not only good for Ukraine, and I will argue Russia, it's good for Europe, it's good for America, it's good for the democracies of the world. We all need to be supporting Ukraine because it's the right country, the right people to be supporting. That's what I need America to know, that we all need to be next to Ukraine because this war doesn't make any sense. Talk about how much need there is there, uh, even on the basic level of literally food and security, and how people can help. Listen, if you're a person of empathy, we need to be next to the people of Ukraine. If you are a person of faith, we need to be next of the people of Ukraine. Um, let's put the example of Kherson. Um, was a city of hundreds of thousands that many left at the beginning of the war. The Russians came in. Um, when we arrived to Kherson, uh, now 11, 12 days ago, um, was around 70, 75,000 people. No electricity. That means no banks. That means no money. That means no supermarkets, because that means no infrastructure. Bridges are destroyed. Roads are destroyed. Means no water, because the pumps are not working. Means no heat. The temperatures right now are just freezing. Not only in Kherson, in the vast majority of all Ukraine, right now, many of the big cities have no access to electricity. So what we need to be doing is Number one, offshore, we can be supporting Ukraine, giving donations, sending money, supporting NGOs like World Central Kitchen. But the best we can be doing is this. We need to be nonstop calling our senators, our congressmen, Democrats and Republicans, and to be showing our support for a country that is a Christian country, that is a country that is fighting and defending democracy like many of us believe in America, and that's the best we can do, because anything else is throwing money at the problem. We need to invest in the solution. What the solution is? To be telling Russia, to be telling Putin, this war needs to end now, and nobody in America, absolutely nobody, is going to be supporting a person that the only thing he wants to do is create mayhem. Just remember that, Chris. Take a look what happened in Venezuela. Let's talk about what's happening in the southern border in the United States. Who is the vast majority of people in the southern border? These are very often people coming from Venezuela. What the people of Venezuela wants to feed their families. Who is creating the mayhem in Venezuela? Maduro. Who is behind Maduro? This is Putin. You see, my friends, if, especially the Republican Party, because I know many of the Democrats are supporting it. We cannot ever be supporting Putin, because what he's doing in Ukraine, what he's doing in Syria, what he's doing in Venezuela, 
is this is stabilizing democracies, this is stabilizing Europe, and this is stabilizing especially the United States. We all need to be together, Republicans and Democrats saying, people of hate, people that wants the wars out of humanity have no space. Putin should not be supported never again by anybody in Europe, by anybody in America. And then the world can have a chance to be a better place. Hey, thank you for watching. Please go to newsnationnow.com, newsnationnow.com, and you can find News Nation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button down below. Then you will get more of News Nation's fact-driven coverage.